Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Now, version 1.0! So, we're out of beta. I decided to cut the uh, beta series short because I made some obvious planning mistakes. To those who are already into the game, you know what I mean. So, we're at 1.0. That means the developing team, squad, have decided that um, uh, they're at the point where the game is uh, done in its most uh, well, not basic form, but most developed form that they at least wanted to have. Uh, they will s continue work on developing the game, and uh, the modding community obviously will help. Um, so that's good news. That's all good news all around, and um, we're just gonna gonna have a look, see if we can spot uh, some changes right off the get-go. Probably not. The beta was not that difficult. Uh, but uh, there is one major change that we can already notice if we were to um, there we go, cucumber. Let's pick a good flag for a change, um, which is the re-entry mechanics. Basically, the whole atmosphere has been re um, rebuilt uh, to be more realistic and more f fluent. So, um, Stratco. No, rocket science. We're gonna have the orange rocket science. There we go. Rocket science. Awesome. Difficulty options. We need to check those. Um, no entry purchase on research. I want to go for moderate. So we allow quick loading and reverting flights. The rest of it, not so much. That's fine. Re-entry heating 100%. Resource abundance 80%. What is resource abundance? I wonder. Probably they put some... Oh yeah, they, they did. They put some resources out in space um, that you can now mine. Pretty cool. Science rewarded at 90%. Funds rewarded at 90%. Okay, great. Funds, penalties... Won't Whoa, okay. That's pretty hefty. But okay, we'll accept this. So sort of the way we we're going. I do need to to revert sometimes and uh, Kimura la la la. yeah we know this part if you want to read it pause the video here <laughs> so there we go I'm just gonna do the real basic stuff and um, and that'll be it for now what happened to my oh okay that's now the right mouse button this is a little a little slowish okay alright now we need to go to mission control. That's true. Oh, this is a new button. Engineer's report. Interesting. Nothing to see, nothing to report. Okay, so that's new. Let's, um, let's have a look. See what we can get in our... Is this our science building? I don't know. No, it's another hangar. It's plane hangar. This is our mission. Launch our first vessel. We're gonna get money for that. Interesting. Accept contracts. Uh, get us escape the atmosphere. Orbit Kerbin. Get our scientific data from Kerbin. Give us a quick crew report before launching. It's fine if any of the lights are controlled by here. Just flash and just give it a swift kick. Okay, that's easy. Okay, we're packing, picking those two up. Get ourselves a nice little rockety rocket. All right, we've got the Mark One command pod. Obviously, what else do we have? Mm. Solid fuel booster. Th those have changed somewhat. They look different. Do we have? Yeah, we do. Great. I'll put this on. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right, this should uh, this should do. I think parachute on first stage. <laughs> so that's a good indication of no. <laughs> and now the parachute still is on the first stage. So maybe we should have it like this: unused monopropellant resource. Yeah, I know, but that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're not going to be using the monopropellant to start with. 
So, okay, this should get us up into the sky, I would think. Let's look at our pilots. They're, they're our standard guys. Valentina Kerman. There's now female Kermans. So, Valentina, I think you should have the honor of this first flight. Cool, female Kermans. They're actually there. That's new. So, we've already found something new. Let's go and, um, yeah. We'll call this one the, um, the Alpha, because it's our very first craft. I don't know where I'm going with this series, this new series yet, but I guess it will be challenging enough to just get into space and do the missions. I might go for the old space station thing again, uh, which we never got to in the previous uh, series. Let's launch this and see where we go at. Hopefully... Oh yeah, we're in the pit. This is the pit, man. What happened to my uh, WASD keys here? Used to work. It's now no longer working. Okay, Valentina, you ready? Give me your crew report. Deep data. Is that not one of the uh, goals here? Achieve, uh, achieve a land distance of 5,000 meters. Altitude record. 3,500, a land distance. Okay. Couple space center. 5,000. Okay, that's interesting. I thought we had contracts. That were. Those aren't the contracts I was looking for. <laughs> but okay, fine. Oh my god. Look at the shakiness. Oh my god, we're going so fast. We're going so fast. It's silly. Okay. Got our first goal. Um, second goal. We need to land somewhere away from Kerbal Space Program. That's what they're sa saying to us. So, that's probably not going to happen. I don't suspect that is going to happen. And once this thing is fully at, ze at zero, I'm just gonna pull this one off like this and call it a good landing. Well, hopefully, I hope I hope it will be a good landing. There we go. Okay, how about uh, another crew report? No, oh, keep that data. That's fine. Oh wow, okay, contract complete. Okay, oh wow, we have contract complete, the speed record, so nice. Another speed record. I guess we already had some contracts, I don't know. Automatic contracts things. Cool, I suppose. Oh yeah, we could just do this, it's fine. Um. I didn't want to do that. But okay, thank you. The controls, the, the WASD things have changed. And I'm not sure if I like it yet. We're dropping down at about 40 minute, minute, meters per second. And um, the thicker the atmosphere gets, basically, the better. Oh, this is a really slow drop, thanks to my uh, <laughs> early opening of that uh, shoot. But hey, that's that's fine. I guess I'll do an EVA once I get down and gather some info there. That's probably a good idea. We'll do that and just um, have Valentina gather up that info. But we already got five contracts. They were probably active already. So now we're slowly getting to the point where we are slowing down. As you can see, the slowing down bit is also different. It's much more gradual as the atmosphere gets thicker. It's pretty fantastic. I like the way this is simulated and the fact that there's female Kerman. It's Valentina. 
I could have a whole female crew at some point. That'd be wonderful. Okay, we're gonna land right next to the airstrip, which is fine. I can I can go with that. There's our there's our shadow. Once we hit 500, that chute's gonna open. Hopefully. I hope it functions. Oh, here we go. It actually opens very very slowly. Look at that. How awesome is that? We're gonna hit the ground with barely six meters per second, which is fine. It's slowing it down. I love it. Don't want to yank it. Oh, we are. Are we actually floating? Left and right? Is there wind? There might be some wind. They might actually have added some wind. I'm not sure about that part. But I feel we are moving. Let's see. Are we moving? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Alright. So, if we hit the ground with around 6 meters per second, we should be okay. Should be being the word five point something up oh, and there we are we've landed I'm just gonna tip over possible no no not possible well, EVA do an EVA report keep that and I guess we'll do an EVA report out here that's more important Oop, did you tip it over just now? Can we? Oh, let's have a little fun. A little fun for this mission. Valentina, jump into your rockets. Nope, that totally didn't work. Because we cannot reach the crew hatch, we cannot return to the vessel, which is fine. We'll recover the vessel. There we go. And we actually got experience. Awesome. And we got that last mission as well. Let's see, okay, we got that. We launched our first vessel. There's money in the bank. Speed record. Speed record. Altitude record. And scientific data from Kerbin. Fantastic. So that's cool. We have a buttload of money immediately. <laughs> that's cool. I like that. And of course, um, we need to recover this. There we go. Recovered parts. Fantastic. So that's the uh, first mission in the new 1.0 version of the game. I will be uploading this today, but I will be scheduling it for another date, I think. Um, I want to keep a series for a rainy day. Probably I'm going to release this like over the weekend or something, or near the weekend. Concentrating on other things like hopefully XCOM and maybe some close combat, who knows. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. And um, yes, we've restarted. But I hope you'll still enjoy this. See you all next time. Bye-bye.